We've got breaking news coming in right now. Remember earlier today, we told you that, uh, that uh, the official results of the Rajasthan Cricket Association have been declared and that Lalit Modi was uh, made uh, announced as a president, the winner of the elections. We're now hearing that the BCCI has suspended the Rajasthan Cricket Association following those results. Rasesh Mandani, our sports correspondent, joins us on the phone line for this. Rasesh, the impact of this suspension is not just on the administrators of the Rajasthan Cricket Association, it will affect all the players as well. Uh, the, the initial uh, bit of information that we're gathering from our sources in the BCCI pair is that uh, the BCCI, uh, after suspending the Rajasthan Cricket Association following uh, Lalit Modi's appointment, has take, uh, would take a decision in the due course of time to appoint an ad hoc committee which would take care of cricketers' interests. In that sense, one can probably anticipate that uh, uh, hopefully the Rajasthan cricketers will continue uh, to play under all tournaments uh, which are uh, operated under the agencies of the BCCI and Rajasthan would continue to be a part of uh, the Ranji Trophy, which would obviously be very important. So that's the point uh, that uh, some of the board lawyers had made in the Supreme Court as well, that in case uh, Lalit Modi's uh, uh, result is declared, it could affect the performance of the cricketers. Uh, that ploy did not work. The Supreme Court went ahead and asked the re results to be declared. Now the BCC has come up uh, with this decision to uh, appoint an ad hoc committee in the course of time, which would take care of uh, cricketers' interests. But uh, the, the, the underlying message, of course, is quite clear. The BCC Absolutely. are not wanting to take uh, uh, Lalit Modi appointment lying down and, uh, and immediately as anticipated taking action against Rajasthan Cricket Association we are told this uh, decision has been taken by the interim president uh, of the BCC Ashwal Yadav and, uh, and, and uh, they are also going to issue a show call notice to the RCA as to how Lalit Modi a man suspended uh, by the BCCI who is uh, serving a life man has been appointed the president. Okay, Rasesh, stay with us. I want to go across to Borea Majumdar, our consulting editor for sports at the India Today Group. Uh, Borea, uh, you know, we were sort of half anticipating this uh, when we spoke about uh, uh, half an hour, 45 minutes ago, and it's happened. I said exactly this, didn't I? That the BCCI will have to take into account the issue of the cricketers because that is the legal plank on which the RCA will now take the BCCI to court. Because this is not a battle that's finished at all. I mean, obviously, the BCCI has not taken it lying down. Rasesh was spot on when he said that. Now what the RCA will do is, the court is open. Can the BCCI do it when they've done it according to a Supreme Court plan? So, uh, this will be challenged. This will absolutely be legally challenged. But the cricketer's interest cannot be jeopardized, which is why the BCCI has to protect the interest of the cricketers by appointing the ad hoc committee. We've not seen the end of this battle here. Fact of the matter is the RCA will want to continue. And what happens to Rajasthan as a test venue, what happens to Rajasthan as a one-day venue, what happens to the cricketers in Rajasthan, can the BCCI... You know, this chauffeur's notice that has been served, can the BCCI garner the numbers? Because it's a different BCCI compared to what it was in September. So these are all questions that will now come into the cricket political scene. And all of this will also be impacted when the Supreme Court probe happens on the, on the IPL probe uh, uh, case over the next three days. Because I keep saying it, the Indian cricket board is seeing a churn. It is, it is very interesting at this point in time how things unfold. So we've got to wait and see what happens to the future of Lalit Modi. I, the, the, you know, Lalit Modi himself, as we've been discussing earlier, may, may choose to in fact stay away from all this. He, he has no plans of returning to India at the moment. Uh, he, he would instead choose to, to run uh, the Rajasthan Cricket Association from, from London where he's based. But it looks unlikely that, that he'd even get to hold that first meeting which he had planned for this afternoon now. No, I'm sure they will hold the meeting. I mean, whether or not the BCCI, the, the show of notice is served, I mean, if, even if an association has been suspended, that doesn't stop them from holding a meeting. So Lalit will, I'm sure, want to hold that meeting. Look, nothing is going to happen in the BCCI before September. So the, uh, the show cause notice, once it's served, the, the reply that will go will be a legal reply. This is not the end of story. It's a long battle between Lalit and the BCCI. has been continuing for a while. The BCCI, Rajesh Bandani was absolutely right when he said that the BCCI wanted to stall these results from being announced. It failed. So it had a backup plan, which is suspension of the RCA. Now Lalit will have a backup plan as to how he wants to deal with the show cause notice. Because, you know, it, uh, there is no way that Lalit would have thought that he would be welcomed with open arms by a BCCI led by Mr. Shinwaza. So this is, this is how Indian cricket policy is. It is deep-seated, it is deep-rooted, deep there is a lot at stake here. What will happen when the Supreme Court will happen? And then finally in the elections in September, we cannot anticipate. But one can definitely say that we have not seen the end of this battle. What kind of Im immediate impacts do you foresee on, on cricket, if any, Borea? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, 
you know, the, there is no impact because India is not playing a series. Mm -hmm. The next uh, tournament, uh, the India under-19, under-22 will be in July. There will be an ad hoc committee which will want to protect the cricketers' interest to project to the world that, you know, cricketers have not been sacrificed. I named Ashok Manaria. So if an Ashok Manaria gets suspended because of the suspension of the RCA, then the BCCI is in real weak wicket. That is why it has appointed the ad hoc committee to take us as a cricket affairs of the RCA. We'll want to project the picture that it is looking into the cricketers' interest while it is trying to the administration with a tough hand. So as of now, the impact on cricket and cricketers will be minimal. In fact, it's what the BCCI will want to try and ensure. And so as you were saying, this is really about the politics of, of cricket administration. This is exactly what cricket administration in India is all about. If you see how things have unfolded, all these people were friends three years back. Now they are the worst of enemies. At some point in time, once again, you know, we will see how things turn out in mm. September when the next election happens. I keep saying it. It is not the end of the story. Wait for the Supreme Court to vote because there will be another term there. But for the moment, Lalit Modi is a king without a kingdom. But he knew that. Now he's, he's important to see how he plots the return and counters the Shoka's notice. A king without a kingdom. Borya Majundar has the final word on that. Thank you very much, Borya. Thank you very much, Rasesh Mandani.